last season finished up is, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm not, I'm disappointed in our team because I know we could have finished a lot better. We finished seventh. I thought we did a great job this year of bringing in very good talent. Uh, we increased, uh, I believe, our athleticism. Uh, we have a little bigger than what we've been, a little quicker. Um, but at the same time, uh, we added experience. Well, the thing that excites me the most are our possibilities. Uh, I think uh, the, it, it's almost unlimited what we're capable of doing. Honestly, the new guys bring a lot of energy. I mean, that's something that we lacked in last, last season. There's definitely a lot of experience that we brought in. Definitely a lot of athleticism. And getting up to work every day and working together, you can see that that process of we, come, we keep getting a step closer, step closer. Yeah. Yeah. Got up early in the mornings, got those early weight lifting in, uh, spent a lot of time together with the team. Uh, just bonding with the guys, um, going over to coach's house, eating, swimming in the pool, just going to all the events and stuff like that. I know a few of the guys on the team before I came here, and uh, personally I feel at home. We're all pretty close on and off the court, so um, the family aspect of our team is pretty strong. I mean, it's just like a brotherhood. <laughs> Well, it's obviously a very winning tradition here at CMU. I think it's a great milestone and it's a rich history of basketball here. I'm happy that I can be a part of it. I chose CMU for the history. I'm about basketball here, so I love it. Basketball here is a big sport. Everyone's committed to it. I just love everything about this program and this school. Great coaches and a, a, a winning tradition. We're the fourth um, all-time winning this, uh, in the I Division I program. Conference is definitely a battle every night. It's so tough compared to other leagues. There's a lot of hard workers. It's nitty and gritty, and it comes down to just working hard every single game because anybody can beat anybody. Yeah! Let's put it out there. We're, we're picked ninth preseason in the Heart of America. Uh, it is what it is. It's, it's going to be a grind for the whole season. To be preseason ninth. It says a lot within our conference, but it doesn't, it doesn't degrade our team by any means just because our conference is so tough. It doesn't mean much to us because it's not about where you start, it's about where you finish. All it means to be fully committed and want to do their, their part on the court, on and off the court. All in together, you know, giving it all. To me, being all in means being committed, doing everything you're supposed to do and more. Uh, for us, all in means that uh, every player brings everything they have every day because if there's one player not giving us all, it's going to hurt us as a team. So if everyone brings everything they have, then we should be great. All in is just, you know, getting up early in the morning, uh, being on practice on time, giving it all, giving it your all, and you're not doing it for yourself, you're just doing it for the team and for what you love. A team player on and off the court, uh, help others and make them better. On the court, off the court, everything. Work hard every day. Practicing with each other, getting up at 6 a.m. to train, hard work. The intensity, doing what I have to make everyone else better. It means that it's not just about you. You need to look best to the bigger picture of everybody and what it takes to make the team win and be successful. To be all in means all of us have the same goal. We die for each other, we fight for each other, one for all, all for one. I think this team is really deep. We've got 12, 13 guys that can all come in and contribute. There's a lot of talent. I think that we need to bring it all together, work hard as a team, and I think that we could do something pretty great this year. Uh, we've been preparing very hard, and uh, I think we can go a long ways. I think we have a good shot, shot to, to accomplish something great this year. we got a chance to be really good. So we have a very good group of new players. Uh, it starts off with Jay Jones, transfer from Hannibal to Grange. Very smart player, very talented. Um, I think I bring a lot of leadership, experience, and i um, pretty unselfish with the ball. I like to get my teammates involved and with us having such a deep team and a lot of weapons. We have a player that transferred from Missouri S&T, Marcus Walden. I believe Marcus will be one of the more talented players in the league. Uh, he can play numerous positions for us. And again, both these gentlemen are seniors. So they come in with a lot of experience and a lot of leadership. We have uh, Tyrell Throckheld and we have Jory Woodson. Uh, 
uh, two very good guards, both of them fighting for point guard uh, playing time at the same time are capable of playing both the, uh, the two and the three. We have uh, a number of uh, junior college transfers. We have Ron Lee out of Arizona Western, uh, a very good outside shooter. And uh, Ron's going to do some special things for us. Uh, Jasmine uh, is a very good uh, leader, uh, as much as an example, he's one of our better talkers on the court, communicates very well. Uh, so having a 6'7", 235, 240 pound uh, body inside is something that we didn't have uh, a year ago. Lone freshman, and uh, that's Jordan Anchor out of Farmington, Missouri, and uh, I think it's a special time for Jordan because he gets to come in at a time where he gets to play with all the experienced players, and he's only going to get better. Cole, uh, out of the uh, University of Indianapolis, he'll be ready about the January 1st. And we have Charles uh, uh, Harris, uh, transferred from Western Michigan, who uh, has a, currently has a broken finger, and. Uh, will be among the starting rotation once he gets himself back healthy. So the big key for us right now is, is now adding these new players and these transfers to our returners. And if we can do that, it could be a very special group. This is a very good incoming group. We're excited about them, and it's going to have a very uh, large uh, part of any kind of success we have this year. We have a new coaching staff, almost an entirely new team, and we also have a very good group of returning players. You know, you have seniors of Quentin Hunter, uh, Mitch Windling, John Hall. Uh, those guys are, are special players. And uh, a returning all-conference player right now is Scott Stegman. So we bring those guys, we bring everybody together, and you can't be, uh, you can't help from being excited as far as the possibilities of this year's team. To be successful, you have to get better every day, and that's, that's what we're trying to do. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. But I think, uh, I think we're up for the challenge and we're excited about this year. You want it! And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. The last chapter to your life has not been written yet. And it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? Can't come fast enough, fellas. Good win. Yeah, yeah. All in on three. One, two, three. All in.